Bristol Motor Speedway is the next stop on the Casualty DX Cup Series. Stop number five for the running of the Food City 500. You want 50 laps of short track madness? You got it. And this place has been known for some boneheaded finishes or whatever it is, but yeah. <laughs> you can always count on Bristol for some great excitement. On the pole, Seth Cole, car number 40, at a, tra a record-shattering 140 miles around this newly paved racetrack. Alongside of him, Adrian Becker, car number 30. Mike Becker, run number 2, hits the inside lane. And beside him, Charlie Rodriguez, run number 3. Zed Weinstein, season 4 winner in that crazy finish between he and one after the Dawson's got each other into each other. And Tyler Batson has the outside in row number three. Row number four, PJ Williams and Chris Washer, the Atlanta winner. In row four, row five, Chris Dalton, 41, and the 18 of Ian Dutta. Then row six has Stephanie Naylor in 97, and the 42 of Dion Scott. And row number seven has Dalton Day in the 17, and 75 of Kyle Matthews. Here comes the command to fire him up here at Bristol. Drivers, start your engines! Sounds a lot like the let's get ready to rumble type of guy right here. And they're about to rumble here at Bristol, Tennessee. 50 wild laps here at Bristol. A lot of questions about to be asked here, but this is going to be some great, crazy racing here at Bristol. Here they come to start finish line. The green flag waves, and we are underway. And oh, Seth Cole did not get a good start. Adrian Becker jumps out in front. And oh, problems already! Several guards bounce off the wall to kick things off here at Bristol, but it looks like no caution. Dalton Day gets a little sideways coming out. Turn number two. As Adrian Becker leads the first lap of the event. Now she's led to the second. And now we got in trouble. Cody Lamas is around. Well, I tell you what, this, this is some wild racing already here at Bristol today. And there's Cody Lums has caused the yellow flag to fly for the first time. And there's where TJ Lick, he got into the wall, came out of turn number two, and then right into Cody Lummis and, and, and Lick got up on two wheels a little bit. There's Lummis, he hits the wall, coming out of turn number two. But, whew. So, so, no harm, no foul for the car of Cody Lum as he's still back out on the track, but he's 37th at the moment. Pace cross lights are now off as Adrian Becker has the lead with Mike Becker in second position. Third, Seth Cole. Fourth, Tower Batson. Fifth is J PJ Williams in 70 Nailer. Sixth, Chris Washer. Seventh, eighth, Charlie Rodriguez. Ninth, Ian Dunn in 10th position is Dion Scott. Field coming out of corner number four. The green flag waves were back underway. Mike Becker was ready for Adrian on that start this time. Mike tries to go to the inside lane now. And here comes Mike on the inside. Seth Cole gets loose. Come out of turn number four. Adrian hits the wall. Come out of turn four. Mike Becker takes the lead. Oh, we got problems already. Oh, and it's Sean Galligan and Jessica Shelton. So let's see what happened with those two. I think those two got into a little shunt on the first lap. I don't know what happened there. Looks like the crash didn't happen. Looks like the looks like the looks like Shelton, I think, and her, him, her and Galligan decided to go down pit road.
See where the see where the crash involved. Look like it was Jeremy Doobie. Looks like in twenty nine that spun. Yeah. And there's where. Come out of turn number two. Yeah. Cody Lamas turned him around, so it looks like Doobie and Lamas is going to have some wards in the garage area over that one. And Charles Jackson doing a little wall scraping, coming out of turn number, four, or turn number three. So Jeremy pretty much driving away, PO'd. So we're back underway, the green flag waves once again here at Bristol. Mike Becker has the lead as we just restart the race. And oh! Mike Becker gets squeezed in there by Sean Galligan. That's going to let Tyler Batson take the lead. And now PJ Williams goes into second place. And now Pace Car back on the racetrack. I think some tr uh, unbelievable racing here at Bristol so far in the wrong way. And it was Ann Batson who got turned in her three in the three car. She was second in standings coming in. And she's got Johnny Gardner to thank for that one. Whew. And some heads up driving by Jessica Shelton in the, in the 94 car. She had to get on the brakes big time. But no harm, no foul. So for Ann Batson, she gets back onto the track. And that was way back in the back of the pack, too. So, pace cars, lights are off. Tower bats and leads now as they get about to complete 20 laps on this race. 30 left to go. When we get the restart, PJ Williams is in second, third, Adrian Becker, fourth, Seth Cohen, Mike Becker, who led the last restart and then hit and bounced the wall. And you see the 43 car pancake a little bit on the driver's side car. On a passenger side door. About to get the green flag here. Two Fords, two Pontiac, and a two Fords and three Pontiacs in the top five as the green flag waves. Tyler Batson gets a good start here. Adrian Becker tries inside of PJ Williams in the 21 car. The leading Chevy right now is in seventh. That's Chris Washer. And oh! Oh, and big trouble on turn number four. Pichu London's crashed. Seth Cole's got some damage. I think I saw Dion Scott crash in the in the 42. And oh, and the later! The later! Tower bats in the spun! Is he still going to be counted as the leader of the race? Oh my gosh. And we even had a crash on pit road. I think. And it was the front bunch of Tower Bats. Uh, not PJ Williams had, had bounced off the wall. He and Seth Cole both. Seth rear ends him. Let's keep around Seth Cole on this crash here. Remember to, this is real time. And there's where Tyler Batson spun right there. And he, was, and he, hits, he hit the wall as well. A bad crash happening on, on the front stretch coming up, and so Tyler Batson will still be counted as the leader of the race here. 
in car 28. So he's got some damage. Let's remember. Uh, it, but sometimes at Bristol, a little bit of damage doesn't mean anything here. But to get the restart here uh, as we're past halfway, 27 in the books, 23 to go. And Tyler this time gets a good start on Adrian Becker. Had a couple of lap cars of P2 London and Charles Jackson. Oh no, three, one, and oh, big problems! The Beckers have crashed, eight, crashed Adrian and P2 and Mike. Oh, and big problems! Joshua Collards crashed. The defending race winner, Tim Fiegel. Collards are defending. Collards actually a defending race winner, but Johnny Gardner, he's crashed. Chris Washer. Seth Colligan's crashed. Zed Weinstein. Former winner. I knew they got three wide. It was something like this was going to happen. And Adrian hits the water there. She gets into Mike Becker. And Adrian hard in the wall she goes. And Mike's crashing. There's, there's what happened up, up ahead. And Chris Washer, he... Oh my gosh. Fail on the replays. Let's call again what happened to Chris Washer. And Charles Jackson hits the wall along with Stephanie Naylor. And then Stephanie spins out Chris Washer. And then barrel roll, barrel roll, do the barrel, barrel roll. Oh my gosh. And lands on Stephanie Naylor's car. There's where Weinstein's crashed along with Jeremy Doobie's crash. Jessica Shelton again had to get on the binders to avoid this one. So did Michael Norman in too. I think Norman's got some damage. And we have another crash on the front stretch. What the heck? And it was Seth Cole. They got spun. And he got turned by Dustin Sloniker for no reason. So there's gonna, I think you might as well just turn the garage area into the WWF. Here at Bristol, there's gonna be a lot of fights in the garage. I guarantee you, by race's end, whoever wins the, regardless of whoever wins the race. But it's Tower Batson out in front, two Fords out in front, Chevy, Chevy and Chris Dalton's in third, Ian Dutta's fourth in the Pontiac, fifth is the 17 of Dalton Day. As the green flag waves once again, we're about to get back underway here at Bristol. So we can make a few laps without a uh, yellow. Tower Batson leads in car 88. Three wide for the lead. And Chris Darton's going to take the lead. Car number 41. Joshua Osborne inside of Dalton Day. Oh, and Tower Batson's crashed. And Jeremy Doobie, he's crashed again. And Ian Dutt is going to take the lead in car 18. I think I hear some... I thought I heard some rear end banging going on, but... And there's where Tower Batson hits the wall coming on turn two. Got turned by Dalton Day in the 17. And there's where Tower, he spins round and round. He goes and into the wall. He, and into the wall he goes. Pancakes the passenger side of that number 88 car. And there's where, oh, Chris Dalton slammed the wall. That's probably why T Ian Dutta took the lead. And he got, and he got nearly got rear-ended by Cassandra Renzi in the nine. Uh, Dalton did, and, he, and Dutta came right up uh, quickly on the lap car. Uh, Charles Jackson in the six. <sighs> it's 
So this time, Bion Racer will have 10 laps to go. Ian Dunna looking for his first win in the Casual GT the GTX Cup Series. He's the leader at the moment. Second is Chris Dorton. Third position right now belongs to Cassandra Renzi. Fourth is Charlie Rodriguez, a Daytona 500 winner. And Andre Salon is in fifth. Joshua Osborne with a new team finish it, is running in sixth position at the moment. As the green flag waves, 10 laps to go here for some sitting and make it all 10 under green. Fat chance probably, but still. Dalton for the lead on the inside. He's got Renzi up behind him. And it's Chris Dalton to the lead. Cassandra Renzi dives inside. Here she wants to lead. She dips the apron a little bit and the yellow flag waves again. Roots and twigs. And it's TJ Lit car 25. And he got turned by the 15 of Cody Lamas. Several walls banging going on. Oh, and Stephanie Naylor, her and Seth Cole got into it in the the 97 and the 40. There's where TJ Lick, he spins. Let's check up ahead of what happened up ahead right there. Stephanie Naylor and Seth Cole and Cole Daly. And Daly actually got bounced off of Cole. And Daly turns Naylor into Seth Cole. And Cole Daly, he's doing a little wall scraping right here. Loses positions to Sean Galligan and Jessica Shelton both. And Naylor hits the wall. Oh! I tell you, that'd have been a finish to the race. That would have been awesome right there. That would have been a finish for the win. And now we're. You nope, know, Seth Cole just barely beat Stephanie Naylor to the start finish line for the 14th spot. So we're just about to the point now where we're about to get ready for the restart here. Caution flag ends the race. We're just about. Well, we're just about to the point now. Resetting the field for you. Chris Dalton leads. Second is Cassandra Renzi. Third is Charlie Rodriguez. Fourth, Andre Allen. Fifth, Joshua Osborne. That's the top five at the moment. Chris Dalton won last season. Last season at Martinsville. Can he pull one off here at Bristol? He's going to need a good restart. He's got, and he, nope, Cassandra wins. He was ready for him that time. Here comes Cassandra for the lead. Darts and Renzi side by side as they go over the third turn now. Four to go. Three to go and they come to the stripe. Darts and off the wall. Renzi to the lead. No yellow just yet. Renzi hits the wall. Oh, and her and Charlie Rodriguez, they about crash each other out. Renzi keeps the lead. Two to go! Now can Charlie Rodriguez come back on Cassandra Renzi? He's over the third, number three. Dalton slams the wall. Dalton, they squeeze him up there. White flag. Shelton is the wall and the yellow flag waves. And that's going to mean Cassandra Renzi is going to win the Boon City 500 at Bristol. Unbelievable finish. <laughs> and there it is. Cassandra Renzi gets her second Cash Doll Sheep Jacks Cup Series victory. <sighs> Let's see what the yellow flag was for. I think it might have been for Shelton. And it was for Jessica Shelton, her and Cole Daly. And P.J. Williams in the 21 hit the wall. And Shelton slams into P.J. Williams and then knocked her into Cole Daly. I think it was Jessica's way to try to tell P.J. to get out of my way, but... On board with Jessica Shelton.
What a tremendous finish. 62.292, the margin of victory. I told you it's going to be 50 laps of short track madness, and I wasn't lying. Cassandra Renzi gets the, gets, wins the hooligan race here at Bristol. <laughs> Her second one ever. She won at Rockingham last season, though. Charlie Rodriguez comes from second. Third, Dalton Day. Fourth position belongs to Andreas Allen. Fifth position to Ian Dutta. Sixth, Chris Dalton. Seventh, Keith Batson. Eighth, Levi McIntyre. Dylan Pote in a quiet ninth place run. And Joshua Osborne, the last one on lead lap, finishes in tenth. Dustin Sloniker, 11th, 12th, and Batson. P.J. Williams, 13th, 14th, Michael Norman. Stephanie Nower, 15th, 16th, Alan Cavanero, 17th, Tyler Batson. 18th, Sean Galligan, 19th, Seth Cole, 20th, Charles Jackson. Several cars were one lap down. And there's the rest of the finishing order here. Ten cars out of the race. Jeremy Doobie, Zed Weinstein, Tim Fiegel, Chris Washer, Adrian Becker, Joshua Collard. The defending race winner, Joshua Collard. Um, Kyle Matthews, seven, uh, 35th. He's crashed. Uh, excuse me. Dion Scott, Daniel Day, and Rohit Baderview have crashed. Johnny Gardner, the last to finish in 28th. And Shelton's crash dropped her down the 29th. Or 26th, excuse me. But... <sighs> I tell you what, what a tremendous, what a crazy finish. Cassandra Renzi gets her second ever Castle Chief Dicks Cup Series victory. As she takes on the title at the Food City 500, we'll head to Texas next for the Samsung Mobile 500. Keith Batson has the lead in the race right now, has the lead in the points chase right now by 58 over Charlie Rodriguez. And Batson currently third, fourth Cassandra Renzi. That win shoved her up to the fourth position. Ian Dutta in fifth, Jessica Shelton in sixth. Pichu Lund in 7th, Alan Cavanero 8th, ninth, Tyler Batson 10th, Dylan Poteet. And Mike Becker currently right now in 20th place in the points after the after the extremely wild finish at, race at Bristol. There's the rest of your ones right now are running at the moment in the points. Huh. Next race in the resort will be at Texas Motor Speedway for the running of the for the running of Samsung Mobile 500. Don't miss it.